Welcome to my unboxing video. Welcome to my unboxing video. Uh, whatever number we own. So let's get this started. Let's start here. Here you got this package. Here you got this package. I wonder what can be inside. If I had to guess, if I had to guess, who was an Amazon package? I'm just using a. I'm using cutting scissors. I'm just using a cut, scrape, and tear, and pull, and pull. Pull in here. There. You don't want to open up. You are. You are quite stubborn. You are quite stubborn. Oh, look. We have. Anime. Anime. And a receipt. And a receipt. Tell him. Yes, it is for fun. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is for Funimation. So what can be inside? Pet? So what can be inside? Package number two. No, it's not. These type of packages, you know, you just open it with a finger this way. Tearing it. Uh, yeah. I'll, show you, I'll show you what's in the box. I will definitely make sure to show you what's in the box anyway. What the hell is in the box? What the hell is in the box? Maybe it's something good. It's in the box. It's a purple Game controller. It is not 100% clear. It's not 100% clear. It's in the box. It's a Game controller. And you'll know soon enough after I take it out the box. There, you can put the packaging on the floor. Yeah. It's a GameCube controller. It's in use. It's obviously used because it's in use. I was gonna buy a GameCube controller from Walmart, but they were wireless. And I didn't think they would work on the original GameCube. Well, I have a working GameCube around here. That's why I bought the controller. It should work. Doesn't make anything broken with it. It looks like it wants it will function on purple GameCube. So long as it's not devastatingly broken, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. So I know what you guys are really looking forward to. You guys are really looking forward to. The anime on box. Let's check out. Let's check out the anime. Let's do. Let's do Valkyrie Dry Mermaid first. Let's. Let's do Valkyrie Dry Mermaid first. Here, I got outside. I'm outside. Slide out that slider. Yeah, it has totally different cover art. Isn't there? Cover art. Of course, the cover art on the back exactly matches. Packaging, packaging, packaging. Mm. Well, what do you say? Is this what? Is that plastic? Is this kind of try? Noisiest things of unboxing, and, and what do we have here? A very loose disc, a, a very loose disc. I just want to come out. Is this loose disc? Is loose disc? Is, is Blu ray episodes 1 to 12, as it says. So 1 to 12 is going to have Blu ray. No, it's episodes 10 to 12. I can give you a look at it. It's 10 to 12 on Blu ray. Let's face it, they could put all the episodes on one disc since everybody wants you to. You want to? You have? You have Blu ray and DVD disc too. And DVD volume one. So it's always like a. Wow, that got destroyed. Oh, that got destroyed. That Blu ray really is not in there that great. Yeah. 
And it's time like I'm talking about the slider and to show what the full art is, yeah, what it looks like when it's not. That's what it looks like when it's not in there. Strip the Undesher, the animation. I played the video game version of this. It takes a whole different story than the. It takes a whole different approach to the plot, to the plot of it. Then the anime, then the an, then the anime does. Blu-rays, DVDs. Oh, what do I think of the packaging? It's all right. I think the packaging is all right for this. It's alright for physical media, it does what it needs to do. I mean, yeah, sometimes they show up it, sometimes they show up a loose dish, but as long as the dish is not so crazy scratched up. Yeah. Who knows, this thing could have been dropped, this thing could have been dropped, before we got, before we got. Yep, what I ordered from Funimation. What I ordered from Funimation, let's see. You have this one, episode 9 to 10, DVD volume 2. Yeah. Blu-ray volume, Blu-ray volume two, DVD one. Uh, and and I think DVD, I think that was DVD volume one. Yep. And some cover art. And some actual cover art. I actually, Bob decided to put cover art from the animation design. I can't the slider. Of course, Valkyrie Chronicle, Mermaid didn't have any of that. Get this kind of game as is, so if you were a little hoping to get cover art, I'm sorry. I'm sorry on this. Sorry, but it's just not coming. It's just not coming. No, this is blank, blank. Enjoy. Mm. Oh look, all the DVDs I bought, all the DVDs I bought, all the DVDs and Blu-rays I bought on Funimation. Yes, I bought these when they were on sale. I didn't just, I didn't just buy them whenever they were on sale. I actually bought them specifically when they're on sale, twenty percent off. Just to save a little bit of money. Now for the mural meeting. Now for the last surprise thing. You didn't think we were gonna be unboxing? We're gonna be unboxing two Amiibo. Amiibo unboxing! Hooray! So, so, you have Dark Sadness and like, let's just start with Dark Sadness. Let's just start with Dark Sadness. Unbox her first. Uh, I could use scissors, but, but Amiibo, all you gotta do is grab this little strip of plastic and just pull that off. Amiibo. I mean, it should be no surprise if somebody actually watched the other video. You have Dark Sadness. I think she's from Metroid Prime 3. Metroid Prime 2? She looks like she's from Metroid Prime 2 Corrosion. I played a little bit of that. I didn't play already do it. I mean, she's from Metroid Prime 3, but her dark armor looks cool. Her dark armor looks cool. Retro Studios doing that for Nintendo Studios. Thank you, Network Nintendo. I played already Metroid Prime, the original for GameCube. That is a very fun, that is a very fun game. And I'm just trying to figure out how to open up Richter. I think I call it Richter Ike. I think I call it Richter Ike. I think Richter is a, I think Richter is a, I think Richter is a character from Fire Emblem or Castlevania. But I don't want to say Richter is definitely from Castlevania. Ah, Smash Bros. Ultimate. They both can work. They both can work with Smash Bros. Ultimate. And they both have functionality. Ah, uh, yes. It's Richter where he's whipped. Yeah, so he's definitely from Castlevania. It's the logo on the back. They make that clear. Stunning amount of detail. Stunning amount of in each amiibo. In each amiibo. 
I think if you really read the bombs, they say they made it, they're made in China. Made in China. They were definitely made, made in China. And for all of you who didn't see the need to watch my last video, we have we unbox we unbox Link Link and Squirtle. Link and Squirtle Amiibo, yeah, me trying to hold as many amiibo as possible in my hand. That was a fun, that was a fun thing to do. That was a fun thing to do. We trying to juggle multi amiibo. I think the newest amiibo I got is probably it's probably Richter, but Dark Side looks cool too. I'm gonna end the video right about here. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy looking at all the stuff I unboxed. Until next time, I'll catch you later.